So yesterday, guys, I posted a video on the uh, Antec T0 1000 series uh, scopes, and uh, I took it down because uh, honestly, I don't really want any of my videos on my channel to be negative in tone, and it was kind of negative complaining, basically. So I'm gonna reshoot this video, and instead of just bitching about an issue, I wanna show you um, in a wee bit more detail what the issues actually are, right? So again, uh, here's the hand tech uh, new scope that I got and there's a few issues with it, right? So <clears throat> I've just got my little signal generator here. You can see the parameters I've got up at the moment, right? So I've got 50 hertz signal and just a pulse train just for an example, right? So as you could uh, well imagine, you want to be able to uh, effectively store a waveform and then scrutinize it after the fact, yeah? So <clears throat> Let me show you, uh, let me change the time base here. Sorry, let me get it in here. Yeah, that should do. Okay, so I've got 100 milliseconds per division times, I think it's 14, do the math, right? Second in a bit. So let me just hold this image. And as you can imagine, it's in stop mode there, as you can see. What you want to do is you want to be able to scroll through this image and see it in a bit more detail you know, and be able to scrutinize what you've actually captured, right? And if you notice, I can do that, right? But I can only do that if there's no variation in the amplitude. Let me show you what I mean. Let me go back to that 100 milliseconds again. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just vary the amplitude of the signal a wee bit here. And I'll show you what happens if you have a variation in the amplitude. <clears throat> Try and get something distinctive. Right, let me hold that. See what happened there? See how it flattens the waveform? Now, clearly there is an issue there. Let, let me do that one more time. <clears throat> Just something we can recognize, right? And you can see clearly there is an issue in going back and actually scrutinizing the waveform you've captured. So again, as long as there's no variation in the uh, as long as there's no variation in the amplitude of the signal, it doesn't seem to have an issue. See, I can stop this. Now I can change the time base. I'll shrink it all the way up. There's no issue. You know, you can look at it in greater detail. I can even change the amplitude of what you want to take a look at it closer detail. Right? You get the idea. As soon as there's a as soon as there's a, a variation in the amplitude, now to what degree I don't know, but it's not a significant one. Any variation in the amplitude, you cannot go back and review that. It will scrub the, uh, the waveform for whatever reason. Second issue, <clears throat> right? I mentioned yesterday, again in passing, that you can't seem to capture the, uh, the, uh, the image. So let me just go to the print function here. You can see it's capturing the image. And this should go onto the internal uh, memory, you should be able to view it in files and in gallery, right? So let me go to gallery. The gallery was empty and there's the image there as you can see Okay, so that's normal. That's actually a captured image. That's not real time, right? So let me go back to the scope mode Let me just change the frequency here just in the interest of being able to make a distinction between the signals It's in stop mode Okay, and let me just, again, we'll just print that image. I, I do not have the, uh, the uh, a memory stick, otherwise it will go to the external memory. Guys, this is obviously just going to the internal memory. And here, and then we have it here. Great, right? That's normal operation. Again, let me just change the frequency here. Let's go back to scope mode. <clears throat> In frequency let me just change the amplitude again just so we can make a distinction I'll change the frequency too why not change the time base make it look a wee bit more sensible maybe okay again just so we can make a distinction between the images okay so for the third time let me try and capture an image here and for whatever reason looks normal right for whatever reason let me go back to gallery. The third image, as soon as you go beyond two images, it doesn't capture it. But strangely, 
It's there as a shell. And what I have here is an empty frame. Very strange indeed. According to the manual, it's supposed to be able to store um, 12 images. And then after the 12th, it dumps the first. I'm getting to two and that's it. So I hope this makes a bit more sense, guys. Um, as I said, I didn't like I didn't like the video yesterday just bitching, right? Uh, that doesn't serve anybody's purpose. And perhaps it's somewhat unfair to the product. Everything else seems to be fine. Um, but I mean, that's a major concern, right? You know, being able to capture an image and review it on an oscilloscope is clearly a major concern. I don't want to undervalue the issue there, but hopefully, um, I've showed you again yesterday, I showed you, but uh, hopefully, um, perhaps uh, a software upgrade will actually uh, solve the issues. I, I, I already have a more current uh, software variant than is actually available for update, strangely, as I mentioned. But I, I just wanted to redo this video, guys, because I thought perhaps it was a wee bit, as I said, negative, and I don't, I don't want to do that. You know, I don't want to be the guy who's just bitching. Who the hell wants to listen to that? Right, that's it, boys. Right, Yoko? That's it. Cheers.